<gasps> okay, what's up? Good new fans. Yep, welcome back. Okay, as you can see, we haven't gone anywhere. I'm enjoying my time in the bush, in my car, you know? And we're talking about bugging out and the failure of bugging out. And uh, what we have been, it's all part of having a what if plan, your whip plan. And uh, I spoke of uh, the seven steps to de-stressing the system, seven steps to uh, becoming self-sufficient or self-sustainable, or just the seven steps to building your own confidence and, and having less issues in a time where I believe people are having more and more mental issues because things are just stressful in a weird way. And I believe the only reason is because we don't trust ourselves you know we don't have that power the ability to to uh to set ourselves up to be to be okay when we need to so that is what this is about also because i had uh went into my bug out plan uh, that little two percent of my plan and uh man it was an epic fail and i died i died within 30 kilometers of my plan um yeah well, uh, yeah, I, I sort of would have died within five days, I suppose, because my knees, I injured my knee and I was immobile and I couldn't go anywhere. And yeah, it took seven weeks. Actually, it's, even today, I'm still in the recovery process. So I only had enough food for five days. <laughs> you know, and uh, in truth, I was at the end of my water before it got dark so I wouldn't have lasted the five days because most of my food required water so I couldn't have eaten and I would have died within four or five days without the water okay which leads us to the topic I think it was step three and that is the storage of water can you believe it <laughs> All right, H2O, water storage. Man, water is life. And coming from Southern Africa, south of the Zambezi, uh, water is not a guarantee in our country at all. You know? And throughout my travels, um, you know, water is not what it used to be. So my boy will never ha have uh, the luxury of drinking water from a, a, a stream like I have had the luxury because most of the streams out there, even the ones in the Drakensberg, are not actually fit for human consumption. And that's really sad. Uh, we've spoken about it. I grew up in a country where uh, water was really a scarcity, and uh, if it wasn't, you know, if you found it, you had to, if it didn't have crocodiles in it, it probably had Bilhazia in it. And uh, even if it was, was running, it was, might not have been drink potable, drinkable. So yeah, most of Zimbabwe is water you can't just swim and drink, it's a dry place. Yeah. Um, here in South Africa, even the high mountains, a lot of our water and sources are not okay to drink. Sad. Alright, so this is really, especially for townsfolk, where we are, we are, have boha water um, and it's, uh, it's quite limey, it's got a lot of lime, a lot of uh, calcium in it, I think. When it lines our, our kettle, uh, it lines the sinks, you got to really scrub it. It's not healthy food consumption. Uh, we use it to cook with, but we don't drink fresh water. We drink bottled water. Um, so especially for you townsfolk, city folk, you need to store water and you should not be drinking tap water. Anyway. So most important, yeah, you can last the rule of threes. I live by the rule of threes, nice and simple. Um, and just because I'm a simple dude and um, yeah we could argue the ins and outs of it but rules are three is three minutes no oxygen no air so if you don't breathe three minutes you die uh, three days no food I mean three days no water okay, start again three minutes no air three hours hypothermia <laughs> three days, no water, three weeks, no food. You'll die, 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 die. 
yeah, we could get into schematics, maybe it's five days or, but generally the rule of threes, three, 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 threes. Um, yeah. All right, three seconds. <laughs> so three days, no water, you're dead. And uh, if you think so, I promise you, even if you're not dead on the third day, by the third day you're going crazy and you don't actually have the brain capacity to functionally search for water at a high level. Um, so yeah most important why is water important because without water we die yeah without food we're uncomfortable but without water we die so there's two questions to ask why am i storing water yeah and then how much water are we stored so the first question what are we storing water for why am i storing water um well because in this country our water is connected to the ability of our country to run its electrical system you know so our power system our escom system uh, runs our water system so if we don't have power for a certain period of time we don't have water you know if we don't have water then everybody's going to be buying water and when you do want to buy water there's going to be no water uh, look back what happened in pre corona pre the the virus thingy the covid um there was a whole thing in australia or america or i don't know somewhere the australians i think buying up all the blue paper toilet paper it sounds silly but people buy up stuff so there might not be a supply and demand issue but people go crazy and buy all the water and then by the time you like affected and you realize oh, i don't have no water there's going to be no water to buy Okay, so why are we storing water? Well, you're going to store water in the unlikely event that uh, there is no water. You know? So, Bear from bearindependent.com, go check him out. You know, if you want to know more and in depth, you think I'm a little weird, this oak's got all the scientific jargon to follow my weirdness. You know? But he says uh, being prepared is a physical insurance against potential chaos. So... What are we storing water for? Well, we're storing water for potential chaos. Because if there is a potential run on the water, then I don't have to worry so much. And that's, I think, is a good reason to store water. We store water. I store water personally because we run out of water. We have a problem with our boreholes, and very often we have to truck water in. So we can get water in in the middle of the rainy season while it's raining. I can have water being pumped into Jojo cans. It doesn't make sense, but that is where we at. So the reason I store water has changed to what it was two years ago. I stored water um, in the unlikely event that we had a uh, power failure for an extended period of time and I couldn't uh, flush our toilets and, and those kind of things. Now we store water for completely different reasons. Okay, so it always changes. But I think for a good reason is, you know, especially if you live in the town, why do I want to store water in case the power goes down for an extended period of time, in case there's a water issue and people start buying up the water? And you don't need a lot. How much, if I'm storing on that regard, how much do I need? So we go, again, work out a week, five liters a day per person. You're not going anywhere, you're staying at home, five liters a day per person, that allows you to cook and drink yeah all right okay that's quite interesting i said i must refer to i don't actually have it but i don't know what that is i don't know what that is okay so i'm wasting time um yeah, you will see in one of the thingies. We will one of the one of the shows. I'll do a risk assessment. I'll chat about setting up a risk assessment and uh, and looking at threat indicators. Um, but like I said, we store water for a completely different reason to what we were storing water two years ago for. Um, yeah, and one of my our water outages for us is like it's most likely probable and actual so according to my threat assessment the reason i'm storing water is because it's a not it's happened it's actual 
B, it's the probability of it happening again is really high because it's happened a few times and it is most likely going to happen again and again and again. Um, no matter what the landowner does to rectify, we don't have a constant solid supply of water. So for most people, I mean, we have a less supply of water than, than you guys do in the towns at the moment. But maybe it'll change, you know. So, yeah, for me, my risk assessment with the storage of water, I need to store water. It is a massive thing and it is happening right now, not tomorrow. I don't have a choice. And, uh, yeah, we are working hard to increase our water storage because we don't store enough water. And we are moving into our second winter here and we're in the high fault, so winters are dry. Um, yeah, it's going to be an interesting time because we don't have enough stored water. And we had awesome rains, um, but we didn't have the storage capacity or the ability to store any of that water. Yeah. Right. So, because we haven't been able to store that water, we just focused on storing water for our personal use. Yeah. When it is not available. So, uh, my garden's going to take a lot of strain. Uh, we won't be able to maximize our food our growth of, of food and sustain it for any period of time just because we don't have the water now we don't have the storage however for my house to run for me and my family to be okay for an extended period of time we have stored enough water you know and we've worked it on five liters per person per day for 10 days that's a good start five liters per person per day for 10 days yeah for me it comes to 200 liters oh, excuse me sitting on my cart not so comfortable 200 liters you know that's equivalent to 200 kgs could I carry that never 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 would I want to no hmm. okay so storing water requires space you know and it's really heavy Oh, but 200 kgs, 200 liters of water, that can keep me and my family afloat going. Yeehaw. 10, 20. Yeah, that's right. 10 days, eh? Yo, and if I, if I back it down at 5 liters, that's for everything. Washing, bathing, showering, drinking, brushing teeth, uh, cooking, yeah? If it was in a situation where it might be potentially longer or we do need to now call solely on that, then those 10 days I can extend to 15 days. I can drop it down to 3 liters a day, yeah? which gives me an extra 2 liters on each bottle. That, does that make sense? So, uh, 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 could I store 10,000 liters of water? Uh, what for? Would I need it? Man, I hope that if I do need to get to that stage and everybody's in the same boat as me and we've already come up with a cleverer plan. Okay, so storing water, we store for personal use. I would like to store for other use. So, <clears throat> what kinds of usage are we talking about when I say personal use? And then I said, uh, but my garden's going to suffer. So then there's water usage for my garden. Oh, and but then there's uh, washing water, and then there's toilet water, and Ah, so there's a whole lot of different kinds of water. So what are the types of water? So first and foremost is potable water, drinking water. Yeah, water that's safe to drink. And that's really important. Why? Because we've got to drink it, we can cook with it. Okay. Yeah. And then there's harvested water. Yeah. What kind of water is that? So these are my ideas of water. Yeah. So harvested water is water that I can't really drink. Actually, I shouldn't be drinking at all. So water that comes from your roof is not potable water. You can't drink the water from your roof. Why? Because your roof's got a whole lot of rubbish on it. Um, I suppose you could if you had washed it and did it. But my understanding is you can't. Um, yeah, there's a lot of, especially in the towns and the cities, you collect, collect a lot of dust and a lot of debris. And there can be a lot of heavy metals and poisons and stuff in that that can dissolve into the rainwater and because rainwater inherently is quite healthy unless 
uh, again, is it? I believe it could be tainted. So, anyway. Yeah, you don't really want to drink the water that comes off your roof. Or the water that you collected from the rain via, like you don't want to drink swimming pool water. It could be nice, clean, beautiful water, but you don't really want to drink it because it's got chemicals that will mess with your insides. So you don't really want to drink water off your roof. Okay? I'd rather drink water out of my toilet than out of the roof. Cool. So that's like harvested water. And then you've got working water. Working water is like your grey water. Yeah, so that's coming from your washing, your sinks, your dishes. And that water you can use. Then you have your black water, and that comes from your toilet. Yeah, and then when you flush the toilet and it goes into the drain, that you can't really use and you can use it but that's not the scope for this that's like higher grade okay sorry about that yes lots of birds i still got birds to learn but cool, eh? Yo, 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 you think you, you never know it. Hey, every day there's something to learn, you're learning. So, tonight I'll be, uh... I've been looking for the woodpecker and I've just seen it. <laughs> ah, nature's so cool, eh? Being out in the bush, man, you can't, you can't, you can't, you can't, just things happen. <laughs> I mean, I've been like hunting this woodpecker for all morning, in between to, talking to the camera, and uh, yeah, I've just heard it, da 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 da, and, and only now, after I've gone for a walk to look for that other bird, <gasps> Hey, can you believe it? Alright, let's get back. Let's get back to water storage. Water, water, water. So just a quick recap. Yeah, grey water, black water, your toilet water. And then uh, sort of harvested water can be called like green water. Water that can go into the garden. So grey water can become green water. Um, also, um, yeah, water overflow from... from uh, outside stuff, people like run their stoops, if you have a chicken hook you need to clean it every day or every other day if you have uh, stables yeah. Um, I know a lot of water is wasted around stables in terms of the cleaning and scrubbing and uh, so some of that water you can't drink it but it can definitely be directed into certain uses and uh, it's these uses that are important but man that's more for smallholders and living on a plot, eh? Or out in the farm. And uh, yeah, our water, our, our grey water system is going to be upgraded now this winter. Um, the first one we built worked really well. Um, it just wasn't big enough, and uh, we need to be able to, to now change it and have multiple outlets of our grey water system. So that is uh, that is a plan for this winter. Uh, when things start die back. Okay, so let's have a quick. Let's just get onto this storage of water. Living in a flat, living in a house, living in the town, uh, one just can't put up a big JoJo, crested barbet, eh? A JoJo can or a, a big thingy. Um, yeah, money, space, and time and effort all, all play a role. So for us, I've said this before, uh, we don't we, we drink bottled water and we buy our water in five, seven, or ten liter containers. Um, and they're plastic, and then we re reuse them. So I re we recycle our water because we have a serious water issue. Um, so every bottle is refilled via our borehole water, and we recycle that. So simple storage, five liter water bottles. You buy water to drink, you finish it, you fill it up with tap water, put a date on it, you store it somewhere. Yeah. Why? Because you should not be drinking municipal tap water. You should be buying and drinking bottled water.
because it's better for you. Cool. And where do you store it? Hey, in a dry spot, away from sunlight. Yeah, dark, dry. We uh, have multiple places. We have an outside room. Um, I have a selection of water that's using in the garden, so it's in the sun, in the shade, mottle. It's not going to last long. Yeah, plastic gets destroyed by direct sun. Straight up. And sunlight creates algae in water. The moment you get algae, it's not potable. You can't drink it. Uh, you can, if you go through the whole purification, and really, that's not what this is about. This is about talking about storing water that you can drink in a year's time should you need to. And you shouldn't be drinking the water at the moment. Do you know what I mean? So we're buying water to drink, and that water, the 5 liter container, we're emptying it, we're filling it with tap water, we're putting it somewhere nice and uh, in your bathroom, somewhere out of direct sunlight, in a fairly cool place that is dry yeah why because yeah we want to keep it away from direct sunlight if it gets direct sunlight it's going to get algae the plastic can deteriorate not cool and also it can last a while sealed water when you put the lid back on and you store it man you can look at it in a year's time and it will be okay yeah as long as you keep it out of direct sunlight. For us, we don't store water for a year at the moment because we uh, get to recycle our water often because we're often having water issues. So it's not always a good thing. Okay. And just a thing, in the unlikely event that things go crazy, Places that store water is a geyser yeah, and your toilet. So geysers and toilets will always have a storage of water. So one day when the zombies apocalypse happens and the world all goes crazy and uh, Mad Max is on the horizon, if you ever need a good storage of water, your geyser is a good functional storage of water. And if your geyser, your neighbor's geyser, the empty house down the road has a geyser, geysers will have water. All right, so what is storage? When Baz asks, 